thank you so much for joining me at my quaint cottage today i am doing a grocery haul this is a discount grocery haul if you've watched any of my other hauls before you know i love these blue chips and i get them for 75 cents at my discount grocery i can pick them up at walmart but i think they're five or six dollars and i have four of them so i would much rather pay 75 cents then we have four of the annie's shells and white cheddar those are six packs for $3.99 a piece. I did get four of those. Here we have honey for $5 a piece. I also saw these. I thought these were very interesting. I'd never seen these before. They're little single serve squeeze packets. I thought that would be easier for the kids to make peanut butter and honey sandwiches. And here I got this interesting peanut butter again. I'm not sure what language that is, but it's originally from a different country and it is 99 cents a piece. I got four of those. This Musselman's unsweetened applesauce is non-GMO and I got them for $1.99 a piece. I got a bunch of these six packs of raisins for 99 cents. I got four of those. Miscellaneous packets of bread. I have hamburger buns, hot dog buns, two loaves of bread. Those were each 99 cents a piece. I thought these kiwi were pretty interesting. There's nine in a package. I got those for $1.99. I got two of those. Over here you can see I got a whole bunch of cereal. So we have vanilla almond flax granola, flax plus raisin bran, cinnamon crunch, snackables, vanilla blast, Flax Plus Pumpkin Raisin Crunch, Puffins Honey Rice, uh, these Kashi ones we've never tried before, Cocoa Crisp, Honey Cinnamon, and Berry Crumble, so those will be interesting. These cereals range in price from two for a dollar, 75 cents, I think I paid a dollar 50 for one of them, but that's, that's the general price of what I pay for these. And since we're on the go so much with baseball season, I picked up a load of these granola bars, cereal bars. We've got Sunrise Coconut Breakfast Bars, Quaker Organic Kids, these are whole grain chocolate bars, these Zara bars. I think they were each probably 99 cents for a box. I also picked up five boxes of these bunch of blueberries, organic Pop-Tarts. And I picked up a whole bunch of crackers for the kids. I prefer crackers for when we're having like tuna salad or chicken salad or something like that. So the kids will have the bread and I'll have the crackers. In the back there are golden round crackers. They're kind of like Ritz style crackers, the butter ones. And then in the front is thin wheat crackers. And all of those were two for a dollar. I did pick up two more cases of the organic tomato sauce. Those were $5.99 a piece, and there's 12 cans of sauce in each one. The kids really like these Cliff Bars, so I got two cases of those. There's 12 in each, and they were 99 cents for each little case. I'm not out of sugar, but I thought this was a really good price. It was $2.25 for non-GMO cane sugar, so I got that. I know that I can get a better price on sour cream from Walmart, but these were 99 cents per container. And the cottage cheese, again, was 99 cents. All of these yogurts were 99 cents. I don't generally pick up this many yogurts, but we're probably going to use several of them to make frozen yogurt, like ice cream. I also paid 99 cents a piece for the ricotta cheese. I picked up three bags of organic mixed blend fruit for our slushies in the morning. These were each $5.99, so $6 for a three pound bag. I thought that was pretty good. I picked up this Back to Nature juice bags for my son for when he goes to baseball. It was $1.20 for a case of eight. These I thought were super interesting, gluten-free chicken meatballs. We are not gluten-free but I'm always on the lookout for new interesting things. And these were $1.99 a piece. There are about nine meatballs in each one of those. So I'm not sure that that's a great price, but I was interested in seeing how they taste. I picked up four of these sliced cheeses. They're $1.49 a piece. I don't actually need cheese because in my last grocery haul, if you saw that one, I picked up two huge blocks of cheese that we cut up and freeze. But with that, I always tend to grate it, to reuse it, and he really likes the sliced cheese for on his egg sandwiches in the morning. 
and I got a bunch of pasta. I think I have eight of these, and then I did pick up 10 of these organic pinto beans. They're 60 cents a piece. So I got a bunch of those. Obviously, this is a pantry stock up. A lot of the stuff we are going to eat this month, but a lot of it I'm gonna have left over for next month. Like the bread will be gone, the fruit will be gone. Um, we're not gonna go through all those crackers. We, we will go through the frozen fruit. We're not gonna go through all that pasta and those beans will definitely still have some next month. I hope you enjoyed my little grocery haul. Until next time, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.